they can take. Even in their ruins, the majesty of the Protheans is evident. And now to the Geth base. Not something an intelligent being would typically say. Geth is more important. That's close enough! Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard, I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Fidan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving despite everything the Geth have done to them. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you. But I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We can do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. 
There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. Where is your daughter, Juliana? Somewhere at the Exogeny headquarters, I hope. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... Uh, please, keep your fire to a minimum when you go to the Exogeny building. We want to minimize damage. Oh, and I must inform you that the company will not be responsible for any injuries you sustain while in our facility. You're not much of a people person, are you? I like people. I just like them more when they're helping Exogeny profit. Someone needs to worry about the bottom line. I'm the only one left. Tell me about Exogeny. Please. Exogeny Corp. is the premier engine of colonization in the new multi-system economy. And in conjunction with our core interests, exploration provides a broad investment base for shareholders. What are the company's core interests? Exogeny has a number of subsidiary companies in many different fields. The most profitable adapt alien technologies. There are many other industrial branches, but they aren't really relevant to Pharos. Tell me about yourself, Jean. <laughs> me? Yeah, I was sent here to do some routine estimations of the potential return on investment. The attack was certainly a surprise to me. I've been trapped here ever since. <sighs> Can't wait for the Home Office to get me off this rock. Do you have any idea where the Geth attacked you? None. We're scrambling to find anything of value. There's nothing here to warrant an invasion. There's barely enough here to warrant a colony. I'm going. Uh, please be careful if you go to headquarters. We don't. We just can't get worse than... They wiped out our defenses in minutes. How are we supposed to fight? If I survive this, I'm going back to... Why build a... We've been trapped for days. We ran when the attack hit. Exogeny could have prevented all this in the first place. I hope you can get us out of this mess. In a few weeks, none of the colonists will remember this planet. The frontier is a lot more dangerous than most. I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. I'm listening. Good. Good. Poking around in the ruins has become a bit too dangerous for me. <sighs> what is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. You're awfully quick to trust me with this. Have you seen anyone else heading to Exogeny lately? I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Tell me about the data I'm getting for you plans for a few prototype mods. I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I say.
something rather quickly. Resistance will be extremely heavy once we are inside. Weapons cannot touch a field like this. We'll need another way in. A one-way trip down, Commander Shepard.
thought you were Geth, or one of those barons. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. A few Geth won't stop me. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. If you know something, tell me. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? What is that exactly? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. I need more information. I need to know why the Geth are after this Thorian. I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Any suggestions? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years, even. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. encrypted files. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? Uh, how do you know I'm Lisbeth? Your access card identifies you as Elizabeth Bainham. Is there something you require, Dr. Bainham? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zeus Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zeus Hope have to do with the Thorium? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zeus Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorium. 
The thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That explains their strange behavior. Your pilot should be warned. Joker. Come in, Joker. Damn it. That field's blocking us. We must find a way around the field. We must get back to Zoo's Hope. V.I., tell me about the field surrounding the facility. I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. What do you know about the Geth? I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned since their arrival. I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. Tell me about the Thorian. Species 37 was discovered several weeks ago when a small team was infected with spores while examining ruins near the Zoo's Hope outpost. The outpost was quarantined immediately, and study of the infection began. Within 21 days, 58% of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. Do you know how the creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense pain if directives are ignored. The effect is severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of rebellion. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. Where's the center of this thing? The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Pharos. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Unfortunately, direct observation of species 37 is limited, or non-existent. Is it intelligent? Can I reason with it? The Thorian does not exhibit the focused behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival, not aggression. It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. What's the size of this thing? The Thorian appears to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it receives data from kilometers of meandering tendrils. We have discovered bundles approximately one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential it possesses. It may simply process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. Please access my personal files. Elizabeth Bainham, Research Assistant, Biomedical Division, Security Level 4 Exemption. You are currently under probation due to disagreements with management over established company policy. These sanctions may be lifted if your next evaluation is more agreeable. What triggered the probation? You were marked as combative about the operations of the Zoo's Hope Project, specifically regarding the handling of the infected colonists. As a result, you were tasked with monitoring the safety of the colonists for the duration of the observation. That's enough for now. Going to standby mode.